everybody, and welcome to this episode of the Building Science Breakdown. We're excited to get out in front of you each month to talk about testing, training, and tours that are happening at this facility. If you're interested, hit the like button or subscribe so you can see them regularly. I'm Marcy Tyler, and I'm joined by Phil Effler and Sergio Gonzalez. So excited to be here again this month. What are we gonna see first? Well, we're gonna talk a little bit today about pre-buck and all the different components that are available under that line. Great, let's go take a look at that. Definitely, follow me. So in the lab, we have a couple different displays uh, for pre-buck. Here is the actual pre-buck form. Uh, it's made out of an LSL material and fabricated to fit pretty much the size of your opening. These will come flat packed, you assemble them, or they can come already assembled. As you can see here, you can spray foam them to the form so it creates a nice tight seal. It's gonna remain inside of your structure and definitely give you a nice secure frame to attach any of your windows, doors. Um, so they do come in a couple different styles. We have a three buck top plate and we have three buck parapet cap. The top plate is unique in that it can allow you to change your building type. So you can go from ICF to stick built construction, as well as you can just continue with the ICF above ground. The parapet cap's pretty cool. So once again, it's prefabricated, right? So imagine building this in the field where you'd have a variety of different wood components that you have to then anchor together or somehow connect together to make sure you have that right dimension in terms of slope. But once again, that this pre-engineered material is not gonna warp, twist, or oil can like other wood materials would. So it gives you that great benefit. And I know this countersunk pre-drilled hole also gives a great benefit as well. Right, so we're able to test our anchor spacing or fastener spacing, whether you're using concrete, steel, or wooden studs uh, through a software called uh, FEA which allows you to put the material properties into the analysis, allowing us to see how this will react to different stresses and understand how much uplift pressure it can take or how much downlift pressure it can take, depending on the boundary conditions of it, so. That's great. How about if we go take a look at that program? As you can see in here, this will be the pre-book parapet cap. As I was talking about, we can understand how different distances of setting anchors could affect failing points and it allows us to understand how far away we need to countersink these anchors. And as you can see in this model, this is very simple. You just put a fixed support on the bottom of the CMB or the concrete, and then you apply a pressure on that cantilever distance of the parapet cap. This allows us to calculate the effect of materials in the elastic region or in the plastic region, uh, depending on the material properties that you might have. So more material validation here. Here's a window casing frame allows us to tell where the different stresses are, what the best type of bracing is for our systems. Something like this allows us to understand how the material will perform under its conditions before we even set it on the field. So the other part of um, our, our update with all of you is for training. So what did we have going on here from a training perspective? We had Ryan Belisimo and Wes Gilmore come in with uh, some contractors so they could learn their best practices of installing our material. Yeah, right. not, nothing beats that ability to get your hands dirty with the products and be able to do it here at this facility. Another thing we love doing is tours. I know we had a lot of tours. Yes, we had two tours where sales reps uh, brought in their customers and we explained all that happens in the lab and all the validation techniques that we do here yeah. so they understand how much we put into testing. So if you're interested in a tour, you can get with your local rep. It'll include this facility. It can go out into the, uh, the plant, which is right next to us. So you can see how the products are made. You can even go to the research and development facility to see how a lot of that material testing is, is done. Lots of activity once again in the month of July. So if you're interested in staying in touch with us every single month, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. What did you think of that episode? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts and don't forget to give us a like. Are you interested in seeing more content like this? Hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all our videos and we'll see you next time.